Hi girls, it's Kishi. It's my nine week update. I have good news. I just came home from, well, actually I'm lying. I did not just come home. It's just been a hectic day between cleaning the house and grocery shopping and everything. Um, I had my ultrasound earlier today and my best friend went with me and she snuck videoed, like she videoed with her iPhone, but she doesn't know how to figure out how to email it to me. It didn't go through right. But if she can, um, I'll try to upload that somehow. It might take me a few days to figure it out. But, um, baby's doing good. Baby has a heartbeat of 179. Um, it is 2.3 centimeters from the crown to rump length. And it's measuring perfectly. That There was no blood or anything that... Everything looked good and healthy, and the yolk sac the yolk sac was there. There was the little umbilical cord, and I want to show you a picture. I don't know how well it's going to turn out, but hold on. Turn on the light. It helps see. You can see the little the little head on the left. And the little body on the right, the little arms. Can't see the little legs, but there's legs. <laughs> My gummy bear. He or she tucked the little leg nubs under. Like you're looking at, on the left is the head and then the right is the body, but you're looking at the back, like the spine area. So on, on the video you can see like the arm and the leg buds moving around and stuff. But... On the picture, it must have taken it exactly when, like, it cannonballed. <laughs> okay, so I feel so much better. Um, I'm pretty much at the point last time that I miscarried, and things look a lot better than they did last time. I haven't had a HCG done since last week, and I really don't want any. <laughs> I don't want any more. I'm done with them. They freak me out too much. They don't give me explanations about the numbers or anything. So um, I have my follow-up doctor's appointment next week on Tuesday. And they are going to um, go over like my blood tests and everything that I already had last week. Or the week before last. I think it was last week. And... Um, but they are going to send me to, like, they're going to classify me as high risk and send me to a perinatologist. Um, but I, I have a feeling that they're going to send me there. They're going to talk to me about, you know, the 11, I think it's 11-week scan um, and different, like, blood tests and stuff like that that I'm going to want to get because of the chromosome issue that I had with my last miscarriage. I don't know about the first or the second miscarriage if there was a chromosome problem or not but at least with the third one I knew I had it tested and so um it, and I never had a follow-up with the genetic counselor so you know as far as I know it was just a it was a trisomy but it wasn't down syndrome it was supposedly just you know a common one that happens and that it's most likely just bad luck and that it just might have been one of the sperm or one of the eggs just wasn't right. It didn't, or didn't form properly. I don't know. They have to explain it to me. I don't really understand how all that works. But anyways, um, I have a feeling once they send me to the specialist that they're going to say, oh, you don't qualify, you know, like, because I've already went to the specialist lady before and she didn't really have very good bedside manner because she just dismissed my first and second miscarriage and goes, well, that doesn't really count as a miscarriage because there was no heartbeat. Even on the second one, I saw the gestational sac. Um, she just made me, like, really upset when I left there. I remember calling my friend crying when I left there, going, how could somebody be so, I don't know. Like, I know medically, I guess they don't consider it a miscarriage unless there, it does reach to a heartbeat, but there still are chemical pregnancies. I still was pregnant. It just didn't continue developing. And for someone to sit there and when I already went through the pain of all of that to tell me that it doesn't count, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, well. I don't really care for this woman, so I'm hoping I can see somebody else that's a specialist at that location. And, oh, and right now the doctor's office that I'm going to is like 25 minutes from my house. 
and that's not the and it's right next to a hospital that I don't want to deliver at. I want to deliver at the hospital. It's right next to my house, like a mile away from my house, and it's much nicer. And um, so, hopefully, if I get the oh, you know the go ahead from the specialist that oh, you don't need to be classified as high risk, and everything we've done all the blood clotting disorders and everything we've done all those testing. Um, just to confirm, and thyroid, and anything that could go wrong, if, you know, they send, they say, oh, everything's good, and you don't need to be high risk, then I get to transfer to the same doctor's group, but the one that's right by my house, right next to the hospital I want to deliver at. So, <sighs> I'm excited. <laughs> Yay, I'm happy, and I just want to say thank you so much for all the prayers and fingers crossed and all the sticky glue and everything that everyone has been giving and sending my way and the positive thoughts and everything because this is definitely really hard and now I'm starting to get really excited because things are looking good and um, I still need a Doppler. I can't afford a Doppler right now but I really want a Doppler so that I can check on my own every day so then for next ultrasound I'm not scared to go to it. Um, but I know eventually I will get a Doppler or find somebody who doesn't need theirs anymore or whatever. I don't care if it's used. I, I just want one. <laughs> and um, I'm excited. I sent, I took a picture of that picture I showed you and I sent it to my mom when she was at work today. And she's so excited. And um, she was like making fun of the picture and goes, oh, your little pumpkin jack o' lantern baby. Cause it looks like there's two, like a, two eyes and a little hole where the mouth would be, even though it's probably not. I know it's just all the soft tissue and everything in the brain developing and stuff. Um, but oh, I keep looking at it. <laughs> I'm excited. It's my little gummy bear. And what else can I tell you? Hmm. I think that's it. So trying to make this a quick update. I'm super happy and excited and thankful for all of you. And thanks to all my new subscribers and baby dust, sticky dust, and positive thoughts, hugs to everybody out there. Um, I love you all and I'm excited. So hopefully people will see how excited I am and can breathe easy now. They don't have to worry about me. All right. Thanks. Bye, girls.